stunning loss certainly comes to Republican Kelly Kraft. Again, she's spending $10.9 million on her campaign to place third and get 17% of the vote. WHAS 11's Bobby McSwine and senior photojournalist Alyssa Newton are at the Campbell House Hotel in Lexington covering the end of Kraft's aggressive campaign. Supporters here in Lexington were hopeful for a victory, but despite Kelly Kraft spending nearly $11 million on this campaign, she never had the lead. Tonight, hovering behind Daniel Cameron and Ryan Quarles. Kelly Kraft conceding the race in a room full of hopeful supporters. While it is true that I am disappointed this evening, but we have so much to celebrate. I know that our movement has had lasting impressions on Kentuckians across the Commonwealth. Her running mate, State Senator Max Wise, grateful for what he calls an extraordinary opportunity. For the past eight months has been an exceptional opportunity. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity for our family to get to experience things across the Commonwealth of Kentucky that many families would have only dreamed of being a part of. Kraft's campaign focused heavily on, quote, wokeism in schools. And while I've been inspired by thousands of Kentuckians I've met, this campaign has also had its tough moments. I knew we would be attacked by Democrats, but I never in a million years thought that the attack would come from my opponents to my family. She went after the Kentucky Department of Education and Commissioner Jason Glass, who now has his eyes set on Baltimore County Schools because of the political landscape of the Kentucky education system. And I'm hopeful that each and every child and grandchild here in Kentucky will have the tools they need to achieve their wildest dreams. That's why I was running. Kraft says now the Republican Party must unite to defeat Governor Andy Bashir. So despite attack ads on the campaign trail, she's now signaling her support for Daniel Cameron. In Lexington, Bobby McSwine, WHAS 11, on your side.